Hi, my name's B, and welcome to my channel, Mama Needs to Read Romance, and this is a three-minute review of In Her Highlander's Bed by Lindsay Sands. In Her Highlander's Bed came out on January 24th, 2023. You might like this book if you like Highlander romance, a close mother-son relationship, cinnamon roll heroes, caretaking, and amnesia. If you can't remember, that's all right. Alisade is in trouble. She's a lady on the run, and when she sees a plaid beside a lock, she grabs it. Unfortunately, this plaid belongs to a very hunky Highlander who is naked in that lock, and he needs his plaid back. He chases her down and unwittingly knocks her on conscious, takes her back to his castle to help take care of her and wait for her to wake up. When she finally does come to her senses, she feigns amnesia. She decides it's best to pretend she doesn't know who she is until she figures out whether Callan and his family are friend or foe. She has a very serious enemy trying to find her. He wants to marry her so he can take over her land and her clan and she's not going to let that happen. As she heals, Callan takes wonderful care of her. There are many adorable characters caretaking scenes where the cinnamon roll hero does all that he can to make sure she's comfortable, safe, and happy. This is book 11 in the Highland Bride series. I highly recommend that you read the series in order. The first seven-ish percent of the book was very much like a last time in the Highland Bride series. I really enjoy the excitement that went along with this. The bad guy in this book is really bad, and there were some twists and turns in the last 15 percent or so that I was not expecting. Couple trigger warnings here. More more than one woman is beaten up. Although we don't see it on the page, we do see them in their heavily bruised and beaten forms. There's also some violence, gore, someone is killed and then dragged around. Additionally, there is an attempted sexual assault, which is alluded to, it does not happen on page. And there are multiple scenes of wounds and stitches and all of that. Probably par for the course in a Highlander romance. So there you have it. Ultimately, this book didn't quite work for me. Callan making romantic gestures towards her while she was still recovering felt a little morally gray in my mind. A little too much of this story was just talking about things that either happened in previous books in the series or in the characters' lives in the past. So a little too much talking in my opinion. Also, just a little too violent for me as well. But again, that's Highlander for you, maybe. I wound up giving this book two stars. I'm still eager to read more by Lindsay Sands in her Highland Bride series because I see a lot of potential here. I'd like to thank Avon and Harper Voyager Publishers for granting me the e-arc along with NetGalley. All the opinions expressed are my own. Until next time, I hope you're enjoying whatever it is you're reading, whether it's a Highlander romance or not. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.